something about uh, which is related to belief? Little closer, please. Okay. So we are either stuck in the past memories or thinking about future, uh, setting up goals and planning according to our goals. But it's not necessary every time things turn up the way we have decided, planned. So is it like everything is pre-decided by the faith? <laughs> so is somebody up there? Uh, not you guys, huh? <laughs> Somebody up there, are they deciding everything? See, up, because all of you are in a design institute, you must know this much that you are on a round planet, am I right? You are on a round planet and the damn thing is spinning all the time. So if you look up, invariably you are looking up in the wrong direction. You are not even on the North Pole, you are at a certain latitude. Do you know what is really up in this cosmos, which is up? Hello? Do you know? Is it somewhere marked this side up in this cosmos? So you don't even know which is up, but you know who is up. This is really dangerous, you know. You don't even know what is up, but you know who is up. You not only know him, you know his name, you know his wife's name, how many children he has, what he likes for his birthday, you know it all. But you don't know a thing about yourself. So, this thing about destiny is somebody up there deciding everything. Too much has been said about it. Every… Uh, you know, even the… I don't know if it is… Uh, we call this Kilishastra. Do you have this, the parrots tell the future? You have it in Gujarat? Huh? Some green parakeet will tell the future. See, if a bird can tell your future, you must be bird-brained, huh? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> if a bird can tell your future, there must be something wrong with your brain, isn't it? In this culture, Forever, we told you, your life is your karma. Karma means doing, action. When we say your life is your karma, what it means is your life is your making, one hundred percent. There is no idea of the God in this culture. All the people whom you worship are people who walk this planet or who walk this geography at some point of time. We bow down to them because we value whatever they did or whatever they offered to us. But there is no idea of the God. Even those people went through all kinds of trials and tribulations, even their life did not unfold the way they wanted. Yes or no? See, Rama is still having real estate issues <laughs> He couldn't even settle that in his life. And after six thousand, seven thousand years, still he is not able to settle it. So, <laughs> he's not deciding your destiny for sure. It is just that he is setting up an example for you, no matter what life throws at you. Because what life throws at you is not your choice. But what you make out of it is one hundred percent your choice, yes? You cannot decide what the world will throw at you. But what you will make out of it is hundred percent yours, isn't it? It's like this. You okay? I can tell. So, how to no. back it away <laughs> so that uh, we get the desired results? Mm -hmm. On a certain day, a lady went to sleep. In her sleep, she had a dream. In her dream, she saw a hunk of a man standing there and staring at her. Then he started coming closer and closer and closer. He came so close, she could even feel his breath. She trembled, not in fear. Then she asked, what will you do to me? The man said, well, lady, it's your dream <laughs> What's happening in your mind, in your emotion, in your experience is hundred percent your doing, isn't it so? Hello? But right now, whatever happens outside is happening inside of you. This is why this question is coming up. Otherwise, if you decided what is happening within you, would you keep yourself blissful or miserable? 
you must choose all of you. If <laughs> if your thought and emotion happen just the way you want it, would you keep yourself blissful or miserable? What's your choice for yourself? What you want for your neighbor may be debatable. <laughs> but for yourself, it's hundred percent clear, you want highest level of pleasantness for this one, isn't it? So right now, only because the outside is determined… determining the nature of your experience, you are worried about what happens outside. If you created a situation within you, <laughs> you are always blissed out. Outside is just a play, you would play it with full force, isn't it? Right now you hesitate, your… most people's entire life is half steps because the fear of suffering, what will happen, what will happen? If you are determining the nature of your experience, fear of suffering is out. Only when the fear of suffering is gone will you walk full stride in your life. Otherwise, all the time you will take half steps, human potential is hugely crippled simply because of fear of suffering. How did we get all these things? Somebody read this book, somebody… these days uh, from scriptures people have come to Dan Brown, but <laughs> But otherwise, the older the book is, the more wise it is somehow. How do you believe? What makes you believe that people who lived here a thousand, two thousand, five thousand years ago were smarter than you and me? Why? Why do you believe that? I don't think so. Then also there were some smart people, then also there was a whole bunch of idiots. Yes or no? Now also it is true, some people are smart, rest are doing whatever rubbish they are doing. Yes or no? Do you believe ten thousand years ago everybody was super smart and wise and fantastic? No, that's not the way it is. So this whole idea, anything that falls out of an old book must be sacred, has to go. That is not the nature of this culture because even when so-called divine entities came, we badgered them with questions, isn't it? Shiva opened his mouth, his wife asked him a million questions <laughs> Krishna tries to say something to his closest friend, that guy is full of questions. None of them could ever give a commandment and say, this is what you must do. Only debate and debate and debate, because that's healthy. That means you're seeking. If you give a commandment and this is it, Ah, that is a full stop to your life. It's very, very important that we understand why human life is… has become significant on this planet, because there are many other creatures who are physically stronger than us, faster than us, many other things, they're even more beautiful than us, many of them. <laughs> the only reason is because we have a certain consciousness and a capability that we can craft our destiny. We can determine what happens within me. Once we determine what happens within me, then outside is not really such a big obstacle. Right now the biggest problem is, everything that happens outside either gives me pleasure or hurts me. Now this is a crippling process. This one thing you fix, that what happens within you is determined only by you, nobody else but you. If this one thing happens to you, you will see, you will be the master of your destiny. If you take charge of your body, if you have some mastery over your body, fifteen to twenty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you have some mastery over your mind, fifty to sixty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you get mastery over your fundamental life energies, one hundred percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. It is just individual human beings, will they strive for that or not is the only question. I'm sorry. What I just said? The last line. <laughs> I said fifteen to twenty percent of life will be and destiny will be in your hands if you just have mastery over your physical body. Have you noticed this? Somebody who is physically very competent, takes charge of things effortlessly, 
but their mastery over their life will be only fifteen, twenty percent. If you have mastery over your thought and emotion, fifty to sixty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. But if you take charge of the fundamental life process within you, one hundred percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands.